Today's podcast, we are highlighting LeBeau Excel. Our friend Matt LeBeau and his company and crew are people that can help you um, get across this lovely country ours. Uh, he brokers all brands, uh, health and beauty or supplements or natural health food type brands throughout the country. Well liked, well respected, well connected. If you're looking at somebody to get you into, into retails and help you avoid most of the pitfalls, uh, check them out. Uh, Matt LeBeau at LeBeau Excel, L-E-B-E-A-U-E-X-C-E-L dot com. You yeah, but look at you're promoting like okay, so you're promoting great brands, but I the part I like is the story of the people, right? Like oh, how like how the people, how you found the people, how the people got to selling the potato chips they're selling, whatever the it is they're selling, or the Nova Scotia cookie company. Like it's awesome, right? Yeah, she's never made cookies in her life, and yet she thought, you know, lighthouse shaped shortbread. This is what we should do. Like what All the right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You got there, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, that. we really do. So yeah, yeah, and and everyone shares that like we're all leaders, right? Everyone shares the that there's some sort of leadership story behind it that people want, right? And they, they can relate to some piece of it, and they can be inspired by it. So you think I you're just two it. knuckleheads, but yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, speaking of which, so on leadership qualities. We are, we're with Sarah Kinlan. We're doing a fast thought with her today. Mm -hmm. um, and we, I've been, I've been following what you're doing, um, but I would love to hear it. So, so we heard a little bit of that just now with um, taking a course on, on being a public speaker. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've seen, um, cause you've got some stuff on, making micro changes i i think i'm gonna get that wrong but i think you've been posting about like how to pivot your career and how to make micro or nano changes right mm -hmm. um which i think it's something that like kenny and i've always loved and in the earlier days we we talked to a lot of cpg people about how they made transformative changes but i think just the the stories of entrepreneurs kind of took over right so we've, we've not come back to this for quite a while but I think this is really interesting. I, I, I would love to hear like yeah. what the nano micro thingy mabobber is. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it, so I've taken, I've created a big goal for myself. So yeah. I write this down every day. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am a world renowned speaker, coach, and educator. Okay. okay. So okay. I'm, I'm so happy. Right? Okay. Just, I'm going to be just like you two, world renowned. And so then that's my goal. And so the decisions okay. I make every day, like, am I going to hop on a call with Phil and Kenny? Hell yes, because I'm speaking, right? Like, right. because that's okay. getting me closer to my goal. It's a nano step getting me closer to my goal, right? Okay. So okay. Got it. All these little things, like, am I going to join Mark Black's learn how to speak program, get paid to speak program? Hell yes, because I want to be a world renowned speaker, right? Yeah. So the yeah. decisions become really easy, right? Am I going to go to a yoga retreat in Tuscany in September? Hell yes, because oh I'm going to do a workshop there with a bunch yeah. of women about how to set big goals and make good decisions yeah. on what you're going to do yeah. next, right? So then I'm going to be speaking, and that's in another country, and that's world renowned, right? So look at you. Yeah. Ooh, so lovely. setting those little okay. goals. Yeah, setting the big goal makes the little decisions easy, right? Yeah, I guess you just make the little decisions all based on the big goal. Yeah, because you make decisions about what you're going to do with your time every right. day, right? So, so I, I'm going to do this for self first reason. I'm not going to say what her name is, but you'll know it because I'm going to tell you to watch this. But when you see this, like Sarah Kinlan is talking about what I called the North Star the other day, right? Which is where do you want to go? <laughs> And then it's not about taking large cuts, right? Is what I'm hearing from you. It's every day, what way, what direction are we pointed? Yeah. What steers me in that direction? It could be a little thing. It might be a big thing. It's yeah. always a thing that I'm moving towards what the goal is. Yeah. Freaking love it. Yeah. Wow. Love like it. I'm working on, I'm working on getting my bachelor of education degree through okay. Brock and 
you know, there's days where it's like, oh, I, you know, I got to get going on my homework. But then I sit down and start doing it. I'm like, I love this because I'm going to be a world renowned educator one day. And so this lines up with that, right? Like, that's too much enthusiasm for homework. Yeah, that's the way too much I, I can't. Oh, it's so I love it. <laughs> I'm 40 in the morning, man. Like, give me a second here. I'd like half a cup of coffee. I, you know, I'm to work into this. Yeah. No, but I really, I, I do love that. I think it is something that CBG folks are missing, right? Like a lot of the ones we talk to are kind of like, how do I figure out what the thing is? And you're like, no, it's you've got to figure out what the big thing is. And then little, 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 no, like just keep about. turning like, st little yeah. steps. Aren't, keep swimming. Um, keep swimming. Little mind. steps aren't sexy yeah. though. They're not fun. Right. No, they're not. And I think yeah. people forget that they actually can, they can be sexy. A yoga retreat. Be. In like that's pretty, that's a big step though. That's a step step. Yeah. Yeah. And that's right? sexy. Like that. Yeah, I love sorry, that. It's Tuscany. Like I, I was in a Tuscany, the yoga can be, it could be that too, I guess, but percent. <laughs> but it's just all the little yeah. things. I like what you're saying, sir, because every yeah. day just to make sure that what you're doing, does it align with where you want to go? Like yeah. if, if taking that phone call from that potential client really doesn't fit with the long term, then why are you doing it? Won't do it. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, if it's going to come, if you're making a decision to come down the straight money and you're, you're going to bypass some things and it's just going to be that, then I mean, I guess you got, you, you, you get it. You still might not want to take the call but yeah at least yeah. you're not deluding yourself and saying well it's going to get me to where i want to go well no it's not yeah right so i love it i like I that it's that's a good way it. to look at it yeah i mean it, and it makes a lot of sense then right because the serendipity that comes with being prepared right because yeah now you're moving in the direction so when opportunities come you're able to recognize yeah what is useful and not useful right Maybe away. That's what we need to do, Phil. We need to reset a little bit, right? Because I find sometimes that you and I have a tendency to have lots of distractions. Yeah. Not so much in this sorry, promised I, life. I'm sorry, who has distractions? Anyway, I'm putting you in the same boat because you're in the same <laughs> call as me. And I don't know Sarah well enough to drag her into my world yet. So I know you I'm, very I'm, well though, Kenny. So, so it's okay, I got it. Phil and I, Phil and I, we're back to that, <laughs> have a tendency to maybe have lots of distractions. <laughs> Yeah. I love Jeez. it. I, I love had to hold it. by myself on an island there. Yeah. No, well, you get distracted more than me. I do get distracted. I do. But, but I have a newer But you stuff. need that. Yeah. You need to be you different do. as a partnership, right? Yeah. You need oh, to be totally. different. You need one organized person, one ideas person. It's fine. It's obviously working for you. You're almost at your 300th episode or maybe the 300th yeah. episode. Yeah. We're, we're right on the cusp of it, actually. Yeah. Or, or yeah. potentially yeah. past it in the kitty. Well, in the kitty, we've passed it for sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no. so it's working, but yes, you need a north star. Like, yeah. are is podcasting the be all and end all for you? If that's what you want to do. World renowned podcasters, then that's where you're going to spend your energy, right? Yeah. If it's buying a grocery store in Vancouver and getting all the brands that you've had on your podcast up and selling lots of products, I like this year. lady. She oh, needs to be on the show more often. Funny. Yeah, that's a hundred percent true. Yeah, but that okay, lights you up, Kenny. Right? So What's if it that? lights you up, you go. Well, for that's it. but the problem is with someone like me. There's a lot of things that kind of light it up. I just <laughs> I get excited, right? It's it's true though. Like it's it's. I think we were sort of talking this morning before we started doing any podcasting because we this is like the third talk we've had or third um, session today. And before we started, I think that's where I was getting a little frustrated. I find that my distractions are driving me mental. And it's really going back to it and saying, okay, you know, just stop doing that one, that one, that one. And we need to go back to this one, this one, this one. But see, that's really Phil. Phil should be reining it in. Like, I mean, you can't, you know, if I'm going to, if I'm going to digress, like he's gotta only be able to rain, I can only rein you in so far. I, I, I've reined you. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I want to know. So, um, what, do you want to speak about on a world renowned? Oh, yeah. I want to help people like Kenny develop a little grit and grace so that they can know how to achieve their goals. Right. So I have these like grit, a grit mm -hmm. statement that keeps me because grit is like relentless pursuit of your North Star. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you use grit and grace every day, you will hit that North star and not zero, of course, but like, like Kenny, it's great because you have that open mind. You're open to things. Right. And that's a big part of grit as well as being open-minded. Yeah. 
and yeah. and you know willing to try new things i just this weekend did my first ever cold plunge um it was the most right. amazing experience ever i was fully okay. open to it and for that i had a great experience That's kind of cool uh, yeah cool. so <clears throat> i've I am keeping a list of things and and I've had this transformation really over the past year and a half. I mean, for the first 25 years of my career, I followed all the rules. I, you know, got the degree, got the job, got the husband, got the house, got the kids, like rule follower, right? And you are, and you're rule follower right into, because if I recall, you're a Six Sigma. Black belt. Right? Yeah. Black belt, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So those, that, that's a whole set of rules. <laughs> Yes, yes. So I like process. There, right? I like to be organized. I like to follow the rules. But yeah. over the past year and a half, I've discovered, hey, you know what? You can have a lot of fun doing other things, yeah. right? Like, so being open to try new things. So I've been keeping a laundry list of things that I've tried for the first time in the past year and a half, and it's fun, right? And if you're not having fun, what the hell's the point, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Agree. agree, agree. Um, but that's but trying new things is your grit right your openness your open mind and that helps you achieve great results right so and have fun doing it cool so, so i will speak about helping people develop grit and grace to achieve unimaginable goals okay will you will you come back and keep talking yes. about this Absolutely. i feel like we should do this i think it should be i was gonna say yeah. i think this is probably gonna this would probably this is a good fast stop but it'd be a better podcast because I'd be well, really no, interested to see a, how this, this all spins a, out. This will be a fast thought, and then we'll do yeah. we'll do the proper. I'll send I you need a link to because I think we'll it'd be kind of cool to see you too. Right, yeah. I do. I like it. I think it's actually just interesting. I really love it. I really. Thank love you. it. But anytime yeah. Phil and I get self help or I get self help, I always like it, even though I don't subscribe to it. Yeah. But I do like getting it, so right. I'm all open I, to it. I have one to put on your list. You might have done it already. Have you ever done improv? I have not done improv. I mean, mm -hmm. I've done improv like in high school drama. But okay. Not since then. Yeah. So, um, you, yeah, you'll have to find it because I know, like, when I was at the startup downtown, I did it at Second City around the corner. Okay. But improv kind of changed. It it took some things that I already do well, and it kind of like broke all sorts of things that I had mental barriers around. But it might have been one of the funnest experiences I've ever had. Um, I just love with you. That yeah, it just like it opens a whole bunch of things up. It makes being on stage not a thing. Yeah. You know, like it allowed me to get up and do some pretty weird things on stage. Yeah. I worked with a coach uh, who worked in improv her whole life, and she yeah. was an amazing coach for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I would put that on your list because I think okay, it's um, on my list. of, of uh, all the gonna... things that I've done, that might have been the one that like freed up a lot of inhibitions that, that would have held me back from being able to do public speaking. So, yeah. Cool. Love it. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Um, thank you for this fast thought. And then I will send you a link so we can do a proper podcast. Yeah, do it. We really love it. Love her. That yeah, is one of my fun. goals this year yeah. to be on a podcast. Yes. Well, that's easy. Well, that one's been that that's one's, easy. That's, that's just, yeah. just got to find a date now. That's it. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'll yeah. be fun. Awesome. Thanks, Sarah. So nice to meet you both. It was nice you to meet too, you, Sarah. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for coming on. Thanks for the, the yeah. lead on. And thank you for well. being a fan. Like we, yeah, that's cool. We really appreciate it. We, yeah, uh, we're always kind of like, it's I kind said, of weird, but we right? still like it. It's weird for us, right? Because we we want people listen as well. Yeah, a little weird, but that's okay. One of these days we'll get over that part too. Yeah, I it's it's not like it's all about being connected with people, right? And what I just like that part. Right? That's why I love this industry and why I love what do we do what we do. I love yeah. connecting people. I think it's really important in life and I think it's something you need to do. I am um, I, I was telling Kenny that um when I was going to the airport and getting on the plane to come home from CHFA, um I actually ran into people who listened to us. And they started talking and it, it, it was weird. Like, I think I had that look. So they kind of like, and I was like, I had to apologize because I was just like, it's still weird for me, right? Because they pick up and they start talking right away about things that we talk about clearly, but I don't actually think anyone listens. So then you're kind of like, oh, you're talking to me. Oh, they know People a lot of it. Oh. Maybe you need to take a look at the metrics. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? Oh yeah, no, no, no. Like right. the math is all there. It's just the it's, it's a still connecting weird. of the two, right? Like the math yeah, is there. I got it. Weird. Like I love it. But I guess I'm too. Like you guys are speaking into a camera, right? Yeah. You're not speaking to no. however many thousand people are listening, no. No. right? So you don't see the audience in the same way. But yeah, people are listening. I think it's cool. I like, yeah, it's awesome. Really, Thank I you. think it's so yeah. great for the little brands to get yeah. a little bit of a voice. Yeah, right? yeah. So, yeah I, I think, think it's important. It. Yeah, such cool trades. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. I will send you a link. Awesome. We will, well, we'll find a time and then get you on for a proper. Hundred percent. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Have a great Thanks, day. Man. Take care.